In this video, we will take a look at some special cases that it can occur as we use the addition method. When we combine the equations together, if the variables subtract out to 0, it means there is either no solution or there may be infinite solutions that make the system true. Let's take a look at some examples where we can see this work out. In this first problem, let's try and get opposites in front of the x's. Notice the least common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. This means we want 6x and negative 6x. To get positive 6x, we would have to multiply the 2 by 3 on both sides. To get negative 6x, we can multiply the second equation by negative 2 on both sides. As we do, we end up with 6x minus 12y equals 48 for the first equation and negative 6x plus 12y equals negative 40 for the second equation. We're ready to add these together, but notice as we do, the x's subtract out and the y's subtract out. All that remains on the left side of the equal sign is 0. 48 minus 40 is 8. The variables have subtracted out completely, and we also notice this is a false equation. 0 does not equal 8. This means when these equations work together, we always have a false result. In other words, there is no solution that will make both of these equations true at the same time. Let's try another example where we see what happens if the variables subtract out completely. In this problem, let's try and get opposites in front of the y. Notice the least common multiple of 4 and 10 is going to be 20. This means we want 4y for one equation and negative 4y in the other equation. I'm sorry, 20y and negative 20y. To do that, we must multiply the first equation by 5. And the second equation with negative 10y needs to be multiplied by 2. We now have negative 50x plus 20y equals negative 30, negative 6 times 5. The second equation, distributing the 2, gives us 50x minus 20y equals positive 30. Notice this time when we add the equations together, again the variables subtract out completely, leaving just 0 on the left side of the equal sign. Also notice on the right side, negative 30 plus 30 is 0. Again, the variables have subtracted out completely. However, we do end up with a true equation. This means whatever is true in one equation will also be true in the other equation every time. Because we got a true statement, we say there are infinite solutions. If the variable subtracts out completely, there are either infinite solutions or no solutions. And we decide that by whether or not we have a true statement when the variables subtract out.